Hi there. We're now going to have a go at trying to do some two-point perspective sketching. So the first thing that we're going to do in two-point perspective is we are going to draw um, two vanishing points. Now these two vanishing points must be on a horizontal line. So what I'm just going to do is draw a little cross here, a little cross here, and these will be my two vanishing points. So what I'll do is I'll put a little VP next to both of them so that you understand that they are both vanishing points. So when we're drawing a cube in two-point perspective, we always start with a vertical line. So I'm just using my ruler here and I'm going to draw a vertical line here. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to try and uh, draw a line from the top of that line to the vanishing point. Now just keep that quite light to begin with. And the same from the bottom of the line to the vanishing point. Now as it's called two point perspective, I'm also going to take that line to the other two vanishing points, or the other vanishing point. So take the bottom of the line and the top of the line. So that will be the same for every single cube that you draw. Now that's reasonably straightforward. So what we're now going to do is we are going to draw a vertical line to decide upon the left hand depth of the box. So it doesn't really matter where you do this. I'm just going to try and draw it here. So that's the left hand side of the cube. And now I'm going to decide upon the depth of the right hand side. So again, here, a vertical line like so. So what I've now got is two sides of the cube and to complete the top I'm going to draw a line from this point here to the vanishing point and from this point here to the vanishing point. So once I've done that I should have a completed cube. So I'll just do that and that and once I've done that you can see that I have my cube. Now all I'm looking for you to then do is repeat and just keep drawing lots and lots of different cubes. So start always with this vertical line, draw a line going back to the vanishing point. You don't always have to go all the way to the vanishing point, as long as the line is going towards it. The same here. Okay, so there's the start of my second cube. Decide upon a depth, decide upon a depth, And then add the top and bot the top lines. So from here to the vanishing point, and from here to the vanishing point. So there's my second cube, and I can repeat that up at the top as well. So if I just draw a line, a vertical line on the top half of the page, I just repeat that the same again. So taking lines to the vanishing points. And the same going this way to the vanishing point. Now, because we're above the horizon line, what I'm seeing is the two sides. When I draw my vertical lines, instead of seeing the top of the cube this time, I'm actually see, going to see the bottom of the cube. So again, from the point to the vanishing point, point to the vanishing point, and you can see I have another cube. So what I'm looking for you to do is Work on that A4 sheet trying to fit as many cubes as you can onto your your work plane. So here is one that I did earlier in good Blue Peter fashion. And you can see there, oh that's upside down. DPs are are upside down. You can see here I went round all of my cubes with pen just to make them stand out a little bit. But the same thing, I've got lots and lots of cubes done in two-point perspective. Now what I could do at this point is start to add just a little bit of colour to each of them, just to make it look a bit more attractive. So what you could maybe do in this case is take your um, colour pencil, in this case I've just got a simple red pencil here, and with this cube here I'm thinking about where the light's coming from, so in this case the light I'm going to have coming from the top surface, so this one will be the lightest, this one will be the sort of medium, and then this one will be the darkest. So with my pencil I'm just going to go over and 
that top surface so that it's light. I'm going to go over the second surface. So it is a little bit darker, so I'll lean it again and I'll just go a bit heavier this time. Okay, and then the third surface, which is going to be my darkest surface. I just go over it so that it definitely, definitely looks darker than the other two. So what I then have is my three different colours. So that's what I'm looking for you to do in this exercise. I'm looking for you to draw two vanishing points, draw as many cubes as you can, but I'd like to say the minimum should be six, and then add some colour if you've got some coloured pencils at home to work on that. Okay, thank you very much and good luck.